BMI's run in the SoCon tournament in Nashville comes to an end Saturday afternoon as the Keenets fall to top seeded ETSU. Final score, the Bucks 70, the VMI Keenets 57. VMI hit 18 three-pointers in its first round win over Sanford. A different story today, the Keenets only hitting eight from beyond the arc against the Bucks. And the Keenets able to get two double-figure scores as Sean Conway leads the way with 11 points, Greg Parham had 10 to pace the Keydets, but VMI plagued by turnovers, finishing with 16 for the game. But VMI did out-rebound ETSU throughout the afternoon. But the season is over, and VMI concludes its season with a 9-24 mark. Now with post-game quotes, here is Dan Earl and highlights of today's quarterfinal action, VMI and ETSU. Today obviously was tough. A uh, ton of credit to uh, Coach Forbes and ETSU. You know what they're all about. They play extremely hard. They defend. They make it really difficult on you. They rebound the heck out of the ball and make it a physical game. So a ton of credit to them and what they're doing. And they came in first in the league for a reason. So um, I thought that they made it difficult on us. Us having 18 turnovers, 10 turnovers in the first half was really kind of the story of the game. I thought our guys competed, fought hard. For us only to give up four offensive rebounds is, I think, a tribute to how hard we played. Trying to make it interesting down the stretch with a small lineup out there. And if you make a couple more shots, it might get really interesting. But again, a ton of credit to uh, Coach Forbes, who does a heck of a job in, in ETSU. There's nothing better than trying to quiet down a uh, partial crowd, if you will. So take it as a challenge. Let's go at them and see what we can do. And again, I thought our guys fought really hard. Uh, just the turnovers really hurt us. So um, if you don't mind me just taking a second to thank our seniors as well. You know, it's always bittersweet this time of year. But, uh, you know, Will Miller, Tyler Kramer, and Garrett Gilkison have done a lot for our program and kind of helped with the culture of our program. And obviously, Garrett Gilkison out there battling the whole time, very undersized. So very proud of those guys guys and thankful to have coached them. But it starts with character for us at VMI and in our program. We have high character kids. They get in the gym. They want to be good. They're good, great kids off the court. So I'm excited because I think they're going to get in the gym and work. And that's what we have to do. And we had a lot of young guys get a lot of minutes this year. And I'm really proud of them. Um, you know, we've been competing in, in a lot of games, uh, but that's obviously not our goal. Like, we're not trying to be the fun little team. Like, we're trying to win those games. I was proud of their effort this year. The next step is figuring out how to get over the hump in at least half those games or what have you so that we can, you know, get back to, like, a winning record, that type of thing. And, again, I'm confident in our guys that they'll work hard and, and get after it.